It's Wednesday, October 7th. I'm at the uh, C- Congress of Union Retirees of Canada Convention in Ottawa, and I'm talking to Barb Byers, Executive Vice President of the Canadian Labour Congress. Barb Byers, what is happening to workers' pensions in Canada? What's the big picture? The big picture, we've seen that uh, pensions have been stripped, uh, whether it's uh, people who have lost their jobs who aren't contributing anymore, uh, they don't have transferability. Uh, we have seen people who have lost huge amounts of money in defined contribution plans. People who used RRSPs, the Registered Retirement Savings Plans, have seen the bottom fall out of those. And we're seeing workers who were thinking that they could retire at particular ages making decisions that they are not going to have the savings to be able to to retire. I think there's a whole new debate that needs to happen in this country about uh, we have a proposal to double Canada Pension Plan and and old age security. Uh, We think it can be done in the next seven to ten years and we can it can be done with a minimal cost increase uh, to every participant. Otherwise I imagine the uh, the dimensions of, of the human problem that we're staring at could be quite huge. It is huge. I mean, uh, people um, who live on pensions don't live a life of luxury. Um, Oftentimes what they do have is that they've saved for a long time. They may have sold their home in order to be able to deal with themselves in terms of uh, the care that they need, all of those sorts of things. And and people are... uh, People are seeing that the plans and hopes and dreams that they had for retirement have just evaporated with this employment and economic crisis. And employers are taking advantage of it to try and strip away from workers uh, what their retirement security is going to look like. And uh, these are the same employers that haven't uh, done much to give up their retirement security. What are you looking for from governments, provincial, federal, municipal? Well, at the federal government level, we've called for a national summit on pensions. We think it's time to draw together uh, not only governments from across Canada, but the social partners as well, business and labour and other groups, uh, to have this summit to talk about what are we going to do about retirement security. It's not sufficient for people to work all their lives and then rely on Canada Pension and find out that they're living in poverty, that they're living in substandard apartments, uh, that they can't uh, get the medication they need because they have to make a choice whether they eat or do they have their medication. Uh, and so there's all sorts of other problems that are coming to bear, not just people um, pension as in a sort of an outside thing, but actually um, where they live, what they eat, how they clothe themselves, whether they have any kind of dignity to the rest of their life. And we're really just at the beginning of the crisis, really. The crisis only hit in the last year or two. Is that not right? It is, but we've seen employers come very aggressively against people's pensions, but also against those workers who have negotiated benefit plans that continue after retirement. Uh, And employers are using this crisis to try and yank back those gains that people fought for for decades. Have you had any response from the federal government in terms of pulling together a a panel, a consultative process, some some way to address the the problem? Not from the federal government, but the provincial governments, when they met in August in Regina, uh, decided that they would convey a message to the Prime Minister that we needed a national discussion on pensions. Now, they weren't maybe looking at as broad-based of a summit. They may have been looking at an intergovernmental discussion, but this is a discussion that affects everybody and that the tent should be very wide about who's brought into it. So what's next for the Canadian, uh, Canadian Labour Congress? What, what is your uh, focus? What are, you, what are you planning to do on this? We're uh, into a lobby campaign of MPs and other politicians at the provincial and municipal level on the question of pension security and retirement security. Uh, We're also looking to do some much more public information, public forums, and that will be occurring over this, uh, this fall. Um, and that's to, to engage in that larger discussion with the public, to say it's time, it's time to modernize Canada Pension and Old Age Security and the Guaranteed Income Supplement. It's time that Canadians who work all their lives have a decent level of income in retirement. Thank you very much, Barb Byers. Okay, thank you.